got black, I got white, what you want? Hop outside our doors and hop up in a phantom I know I'm about to blow up, I ain't done They try to take my flow, I take their ass for ransom I know that I'm gone they Sorry, Lord of Lion, I just realized all the <laughs> footage prior to this <laughs> didn't put the mic on. So do some magic, man. But I'm going to do a cut now with, with uh, oh my God. Sorry, bro. I don't know how you guys put up with me. But anyways, I'm over now with Khalil at 514 Reptiles. And we're going to take a look at some of the stuff he has. Um, he's into ball pythons. He's uh, a lot of Sentinel as well as Blackhead. He's, uh, you know, making some really cool stuff. Two of his favorites, among others. Yeah. And he also has some other cool animals. We're gonna take a little bit of a look at Now they see they want some. I got two twin glocks, turn you to a dancer. I see two twin ops, leave them on a banner. I got two thick thoughts, wanna let the guy out red, I got blue, what you want? The Chanel or Balenciaga, I got Louis and Vuitton. She know I got the Fendi Prado when I hit my line. I needed me a dial rider, I need me the one. I started from the bottom, you can see the way I start. I want all the diamonds, I want that shit to wear your time. Alright, so here. Here we have, a, this is one of my breeder males for this season. They did a pretty good job making me some double hats and some, uh, what? some single hats. So this is a super chocolate and she hypo boy. I actually picked him up randomly uh, last year. I'm like, oh, you know what? Just a little extra male to have in the collection. He looked nice. I had no plans for him at the time, which is not always a great uh, idea to buy stuff with no plans. But he was nice and I got him. He ended up saving him. A lot of my clutches this year because I had uh, he kind of was a, a backup mail for me so yeah we did some double head clown stuff some double head pie stuff with him uh, we did some like spot nose yellow belly chocolate and she head hypos and enough enough but, holy man that is sick hey hypo is so sick you know for the longest time when I started uh, people were like no hypo is not great to that it's such a cheap gene but like this year I've ramped up on my hypo stuff and it's just gonna get better. Same here, man. I love the hypo. Hypo yeah. into pied, hypo into clown. 100%. Other people have been doing some crazy stuff, but this super chocolate Enchi hypo, yeah. this thing is just nuts. Like, I love the Enchi and the hypo, and the super Enchi is just, sorry, the super chocolate is just, what a great combo. Yeah. And you said you got it into, what do you, what do you got it into this year? Pied, clowns, sentinels, and a bunch of Kodom stuff. Double head. Everything will be chocolate, chocolate and cheap double heads. Yeah. Wicked, wicked, wicked stuff for the future. Having man. a super is so, like, your odds, first of all, everything, there's no normals, right? So your odds now, you have all your chocolates in there. Now the only thing that you need is the odds of having the uh, the ratio, the sex ratio, male, female. You know what oh, I mean? Definitely. So it really helps you in terms of getting what you want in the right sex. That's what a super will do for you. And speaking of hypo, I have a... A hypo project from Billy. This male came from Billy. Hopefully he doesn't bite me. This is a hypo pied male. Look at this. There, there we go. go. I remember you. Sweet. Yeah. And they age really well. Oh yeah, 100%. He sired uh, one clutch. I put him only to two females this year. I should have put him to more. But he sired one to the uh, Super NC OD Fire. Like, how can you not like or appreciate Hypo? I mean, look at this. Yeah. This is a, a what, 1,200 gram, 1,300 gram breeder male. Yeah. And and look at the colors, vivid. Because you know everybody with your pides, they don't look this nice and pretty, especially when they're older. Yeah. Awesome stuff, man. Yeah, dude, that's going to be cool. I can't wait for this project. OD, like just a super OD NG fire, just super vanilla Hypo pides and... There's so much to do with it. I'm trying to actually pick up a super vanilla double head hypo pied right now. I'm trying to work out a deal with somebody, but nice. that's going to be something cool with that. Uh, that's it for hypo. You want to show, uh, show show the sentinel? The sentinel stuff. Yeah, for sure. You want to show, I'll show, show, show a female or show. This is a female. She laid eggs already. She actually was bred to that super chocolate and she hypo that I showed. Oh, wow. So she already laid the eggs. We so, got nine eggs out of her. So you're going to make double head hypo sentinels 
yeah, chocolate. chocolate. So we made chocolate and she double had hyposentinels. Guys, oh, I, I can't wait to see what they're even gonna be. Yeah. Look like when you hit that combo years down the road. This project is so new, but there's so much to do with it. Um, it's just this is a single gene, well, it's recessive. This is a visual sentinel. So just imagine adding, you know, oh, these been done with it, it looks insane. Just imagine adding the chocolate, the super chocolate hypo sentinels, uh, adding that to clown, adding this to desert ghost, you know. So, like uh, what you're thinking, it's like you know, yeah. 100% desert goes or just red stripe to get that you know get some reds in there and then clean it up with some like black pastel some red stripe like there's there's a lot to do with it yeah bring color in yellow belly asphalt yeah. gravel yeah you know those yeah. that, that whole yeah 100% they, they I'd like to see this in flaming. a freeway to be honest with you I'd like to see what it does it yeah. is sick cool project I like it a lot there's a lot to do with it I like you know if you guys ever look up um, Jake Milprat, Milprat and Caponado, I think it's called on uh, on their Instagram. They had they made an OD Sentinel, just single gene OD Sentinel. It's crazy, awesome. just for just Orange Dream. I haven't even seen that, so I'm yeah. definitely gonna go take a look at for that. Sure. And she was like, you know, we bred that we have a male, we have a, a group of breeders, 1.3, so one male, three females, and we bred the male to this Orange Dream Fire. She's ovulating right now, uh, so yeah, you can actually see she's actually right. Uh, yeah, right there. She's actually, uh, I'd say like today's probably the start of her peak. So an orange green fire yellow belly bred to a sentinel male. Nice. Make Look a bunch of you. heads. Uh, last year we made some heads and this year we're going to make some more heads of different. Uh, pretty cool female right here. That's awesome. One of my favorites. All right. So it's another one of um, my hatchlings from this season, actually 2020 season. Uh, we bred a uh, GHI Mojave Vanilla Pastel to a leopard girl and what I believe to be is the five banger, the everything that uh, we would want in the clutch. Uh, keeping this girl back, definitely proud of her. Uh, these genes, all five genes interacted perfectly with each other and awesome. everything is so... Look, Pastel Vanilla, you see it in the head, the blushing where Canada is like a white head, that's typical Pastel Vanilla look. And then you have obviously the GHI leopard spreads all the GHI um, banding, and then you have obviously the Mojave look, right? And like GHI Mojave is dark, would usually a black uh, a beige dorsal stripe. Uh, but there's so much to do when you start adding jeans to that. It can bring out more colors and bring them back out, you know. But love this girl. She's wicked. I mean, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick her up the way you see her, but uh, yeah, definitely one of my. Uh, favorites so far from this year that's awesome yeah she's cool so we'll put her up i'll show you guys here's a these are a couple of i love desert ghost these are a couple of uh females that we hatched look at this this thing's year. glowing this is so you have without pastel and with pastel so here is just a pinstripe desert ghost yep and then add a simple gene like pastel, which everybody this. hates on, and bam, like, yeah. you know, DG bringing pastel back to life. Yeah. It's the life support bird. It's cool, it's insane. Yeah. So we'll put this one back. I have another one here, but I mean, they all look the same. Uh, we're working a bit with the puzzle project, just a little bit, not much, just these two females that we have raising here. Uh, blackhead head hypo. Yeah, more blackhead stuff. Yeah, so we have like the blackheaded hypos, the head pies, the head clowns. Uh, yeah, just working on it and hopefully the head sentinels soon. Yeah, and one thing about, uh, you know, looking through your pictures on Instagram and stuff, your blackhead stuff is blackhead stuff. Yeah. It's just, you, you can tell the difference. You see deep it. colors. Yeah. It's, and it's, that's what I like about blackhead, you know? Try to keep it that way, and that's a bit hard. Sometimes I think, like, how can I keep it this way without messing with it too much, you know? Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. So she's another pretty cool one. I had hypo. I had three. I sold one. I regret it now, but hey, it's money. <laughs> so uh, that's something's got to pay the bills. Yeah, this is a nice smell. Actually, I'll bring him out too. This is a leopard hypo blade head clown. I forgot to put blade, but I know he is blade. Wow. Cool, cool little project. Hypo clowns, man, that's another killer. I know you're working on the hypo clowns. Tons. Too. I actually hit 
a leopard with uh, split cuts with me and Austin, a leopard ghost clown. Uh, fifty yeah, percent hit monsoon. So it would basically be this, but you hit it in the visual. In the visual, and you have that crazy freaking hit monsoon part. Yes, which is so insane because monsoon is awesome. awesome, crazy. Yeah, that's a cool little boy. Not sure what to do with it because I am working the the hypo clown. I'm working the uh, and the desert ghost clown. Yeah, and the pie clown. clown. Yeah, there you go. So I'm not sure which males I start using for my clown females, but luckily I have like a good fifteen. Uh, clown related females that are gonna be ready to breed so I'll be able to uh, you know figure out what's best for what can't really go wrong with uh, any of those right projects there. all right yeah, all three of those projects are, are amazing yeah. so here's that's some of my babies this year most of the stuff that is for sale and some of the keepers this was a pretty cool clutch oh, Wow so we did uh, Banana Mojave Firefly, so Fire Pastel male, female maker male, to a Calico female. And we hit some pretty cool looking uh, snakes. Wow. The oranges. Yeah, so she's my keeper. I'm going to hold her back. She has a nice little ringer here by the tail. Nice. Colors are so rich. Yeah. And the camera's not even really picking them up much. Yeah. And then we have the sister. Wow, <laughs> crazy. A calico. Yeah. Yeah, definitely two of the coolest ones so far this year. This one already sold, unfortunately. I wish I could keep them all, but keeping this one. Here we have just some blackheads. I have a couple of blackhead head pies that are up for grabs. A couple of males left. Yeah. But that's the uh, the OD Edgy Fire head, Double Head Hypo Pies. So, what are these? So, this is an OD Edgy Fire Double Head Hypo Pied. Wow. Yeah. Nice. And that came. Nice, nice. Yeah. This project is, it's so untapped. Uh, there's so much left to do with it. So this is a Desert Ghost Head G-Stripe female that we're raising. We're going to be working the uh, Triple Visual Clown DG G-Stripe. Awesome, I'm yeah. in the project myself. Yeah. I love it. Desert Ghost Clowns, Desert Ghost G-Stripes, Desert Coast uh, or um, G-Stripe Clowns. Yeah. Um, it's nuts, and to get them all three together is be incredible. A desert ghost, I mean, for fuck, like, it's just, it's, uh, such a nice gene. Definitely. So much to do with it, you know. Don't sleep on it. Nope. DG, 100%. You gotta get into it. Uh, what else do we have that's pretty cool? I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff. I have a lot of, like, head sentinel stuff that I've made, that I've made here. This is an entry yellow belly. I have a yellow belly head sentinel. Open that up, let's see that. Uh, yeah. Nice, so this is future. Yeah, pastel enchi yellow belly. Uh, sorry, this is an enchi yellow belly head sentinel. And then here you can see this is the. Don't bite me. They're feisty, uh, feisty ears. And this is the pastel version. So pastel enchi yellow belly versus enchi yellow belly. This one wants to go back in. We'll let her go. So nice stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay, Heads for the future. Back. 100%. I'm also working on the Ultraval uh, Pied project. These are gonna get upgraded to bigger tubs soon. What happens is when you upgrade them too fast, in my experience, they go off feet. Not off. in your experience, in my experience, yeah. and many, many, so, many others. Sometimes it's a bit tight, but they feel comfortable. Don't forget, they come from Africa. They hide at termite mounds. They sit there for months on end. When a rodent comes in, they eat it, they eat, they eat, they poop, they shed, and they move on to the next place. That's why a lot of people say like, oh, I just cleaned the tub and it pooped. Well, they're territorial animals. They need to poo and pee to mark their territory. This is mine. This is where I live. So you continuously change their bedding, like for a breeding female, she's like, I'm in danger. Her instinct's yeah. like, I'm in danger. She'll, this she'll is new slug territory out or she'll me. just, uh, exactly. Or she won't go, build. she'll reabsorb. Yeah, reabsorb. So I had a female that she was at 30 millimeters this year. Hyped, blackhead, black pastel, to vanilla Mojave girl. I was so hyped to get that clutch. 29 millimeters. I was like, okay, it's about time to change her tub because it was getting a little too much, like, you know, because of the whole season. 
I put a brand new tub, brand new bedding, brand new bowl of water. Next week she sheds, reabsorbed the whole thing. Yep. So. In there, done that also. Show you guys one last one, one of my favorites too. This came from Mike Bennett at RMB Exotics over in Ontario. Yay, Mike Mike! I got yeah. some stuff from him as well. Yeah, I saw that. You had that crazy head pie at the oh, last I show that I, I, I could, could not resist. Yeah. So this is an OD Enshi, uh, Orange Dream Enshi Fire Calico Head Hypo. Wow, look at this thing. So, pretty happy about this girl. She'll probably go into my Hypo Clown project. Um, or my Sentinel Hypo project. We'll see. You, but, know what? Uh, you, you, you can't go wrong it, anywhere yeah. with this you thing. Know? Look at this. Yeah, she's cool. I like the sides. Wow. Yeah, I got uh, some BBs from Mike as well. He has some insane stuff, man. He makes some cool stuff. And he's a sleeper, I find. Like, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't post a lot of his stuff, but he's, he's definitely up there with what he's making. So that's another pretty cool one that I have. Right, so that's another species that we have, boas. Um, I think this is like a like a pastel dream hypo motley head anery, six six percent head albino female. Just water because they're cool. I like the way boas are, the way they interact. They're much different than ball pythons. The ball pythons are always trying to get away from you. These things are just trying to like figure out what's going on and they want to yep. stay around you. You know, pretty cool species. I have five boas. And uh, yeah, these are pretty neat. Yeah, Good I'm glad I, like, uh, I decided to get into them yeah, for myself. Yeah, exactly. You, so got, you got a bunch of new I'm stuff learning. recently. Yeah, but uh, yeah, they definitely interact a lot differently than ball python. Yeah. And uh, and they eat good. So should we start? Do we start with my favorite snake? Of my, one of my favorite snakes in my collection? Do that. Or do we start? Okay. So this year, this, last year I made this girl. Blackhead, black pastel, ringer jean, head pied. I made two of them. One of them is now with Ozzy Boyd's uh, in uh, Washington, I think you live in Maryland. Maryland? And yeah, and uh, I kept the other one. This girl is, to me, one of my prized animals in my collection. Just basically on, based on the way she looks and what she can do for us in the future. But what? I love this. Like, first of all, Black as you guys know, is my, my favorite gene. And oh, relax. And just look at her. You have that like melted sign with the like that cryptic, not the cryptic gene, but like that cryptic look, like the writing, you know. And then you have like the the markers of the head pied. Also, the belly kind of has like a weird. Wow, look at that belly. You know? Yeah, yeah this girl. animal when you when you posted it up. Yeah, I love yeah. this girl, and she's one of my favorites too. You know, so I'm lucky. So my original mail came from Ralph. They well, came from Reader Circle, which was original stock from Ralph Davis. So it's like you know. I guess proper blackhead because a lot of genes a lot of the same gene comes later on into the market yep. right and it's not it's like orange dream whenever they came to ozzy there's a lot of orange dream but then you'll have a lot of similar orange dream animals come into the market and they'll be labeled orange dream but not necessarily from the same original stock of quality correct right so this is one of them where there are some blackheads that you see coming into the market that are like hmm, so, yeah. so but there's like the original ralph davis line of blackheads it's like you got the gold. Blows your mind, you know? Yes. So this is one of them. We paid big bucks a few years ago for the mail, uh, five years ago, and uh, we had uh, trouble breeding him for three years, but finally we were able to start producing Been there, done them. that. 100% hey, it happens, you know, they're live animals. Um, another one of my, uh, this is this year's hatchlings. This is a GHI Vanilla Leopard Mojave Pastel. Hold your horses. Look at this. I gotta zoom in. Just Wow. Yeah, this girl is nuts. When I saw her in the egg, actually, I didn't think. Um, actually, this is. I've posted a couple of pictures of her, but I made a video of this entire collection. I haven't even released it. It's been two weeks that I've made this video. So, yeah, actually, so hold on. Get... So, you have a, a, a video for YouTube. <laughs> yeah. And you're it's... holding on to it for two weeks. <laughs> It's, I'm so busy with like everything and, and I don't do the editing, my brother does the editing and he has so many clients right now with his company so it's like I just need him to have a couple of hours for me to edit my video but yeah I know it's embarrassing. But you guys will see it before oh, my on. video so. 